14 year old girl joins five other teens charged in an Olathe botched drug deal killing. All six juveniles now charged in the killing of 19 year old Marco Cardino early Saturday morning in Black Bob Park. I'm John Holt. And I'm Christelle Bell. The alleged suspects are either all 13 or 14 years old. Fox Wars Malik Jackson joins us now live tonight from Black Bob Park. And Malik, you spoke with a mom whose son is now charged. Good evening, John and Christelle. I did, and she says it's not what it seems. Not only did the 19-year-old was the aggressor, but he also pulled a gun, something that we're still working to confirm. But as you mentioned, new tonight, six 7th and 8th graders now charged with murder. A young teenager, only 14 years old, now sits behind bars for murder. His mom claims her son was involved in something that on its face simply is not what it seems. She says the 19-year-old was selling drugs to the group of minors and that the 19-year-old pulled out the gun first in an attempt to rob the 13 and 14-year-olds. And now the mother says they are in protective custody due to so many threats against their lives. Fox 4 reached out to the Johnson County District Attorney's Office office to confirm this side of the story and at this time have not heard back. Tonight, the Olathe mayor is responding to the murder in the park. John Bacon says the safety of residents and all visitors to Olathe will always be our top priority. I'm proud of the Olathe Police Department for their quick work on this case and their commitment each day to protecting our community. The police department arresting all six teenagers in less than four days after the initial incident. Three of the teens go to Olathe schools. The 14-year-old girl charged today attends a school in the Blue Valley School District. It's not clear where the remaining two are enrolled. And we reached out to the Olathe Police Department to get more information on the circumstances of these teenagers' arrest and more information on a SWAT raid that happened a day after this homicide, just minutes from where I'm standing. They declined to comment, saying that the investigation remains open. Christelle.